Hi, I'm Ashish Mathur. Welcome to a short video on the practical usage of Microsoft Power Query. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can flip a string with conditions. For other MS Excel solutions, you may visit my website ashishmathur.com. Okay, so here's what my data looks like. I have a column titled as string where I have a few IP addresses listed down. Now each IP address has four portions separated by dots. The number of digits in every group or every portion is either one or two or three. Now I'd like to generate a data set as you can see there towards the right. Essentially there are two things that I need to do. I need to number one, drop the last portion or the, uh, or the last group within each of these IP addresses mentioned down this column. And second, at the very at one and second, flip the string. Third, I want to add a text at the end of every string. So let's take an example. Here I have 192.168.1.1. So I want to drop the last one. That's step number one. Step number two, I want to flip the string. So this should read as one dot. It should read as one dot 168.192. And at the end, add a constant, which is dot in dash a double d r dot a r p a. For the next one, once again, drop the 23, flip the string. So that should be 0 dot 04 dot 193 dot in dash a double d r dot a r p a. Now, while this can be solved with the help of formulas, I'd like to actually use power query to solve this problem. So here's what I do. I select this. I go to power query, Excel data from table. Where is the data for your table? It's automatically uh, expanded the range to include the first two as well, which I do not want. So I adjust the range to A2 to A4. A2 to A4, my table has headers. Once I get the data here, first and foremost, what I do is I add a column and I add an index column starting from one. Essentially, it's a serial number column, which I've placed before the string column there. Next, I right click, I split this column by a delimiter since i do not have a dot anywhere over here i go to custom give a dot separator click on ok and notice one thing the moment i split this uh, string into multiple columns the zeros have auto automatically been truncated so this was a zero four actually it's become a four so what power query has done is it will automatically change my type which i do not want so i simply delete that step which was performed on its own next what i do is i select from here till the end I right click and I unpivot the columns. Now, since I do not want the last portion of every IP address, I essentially drop string four by going to the filter drop down here, unchecking string four over there. Next is the step to flip. Now to flip what I actually do is, I select any one cell under the attribute column. I go to transform and there's a facility over here to reverse rows. When I reverse the rows, you'll see I get string 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, and 1 over there. Now, having done this, what I now need to do is get it back to its original state where I have the strings appearing as column labels. So I go back over here. I go to pivot columns. Use names in the col use names in column attribute to create new columns. So that's my attribute column. What should become in the value area section? I want the entries from the value column to appear there advanced uh, options aggregate value function should be do not aggregate and I click on OK. Right now what I need to do is I need to concatenate data from string 3, 2 and 1 over here. Now what I can do for that is I can say add a column rather I select these columns first I can uh, under the add column there's something called merge columns. I go to merge columns separator I want to give a separator as a dot there and let's just say uh, reversed IP I click on OK there I've got most of it working now what's what's left over here is um, adding the text entry in the very end so once again under add column I say add custom column over there and let's say flipped IP address with text entry. All I need to do over here is pick this up, concatenate that with the dot in dash a tdr and um, 
So let's just do the dot ion dot addr for now. You can add any string there that you wish. And if I simply go click on OK, I've got that working. Now, all I need is this column to appear in my Excel worksheet. I don't need the first four columns at all. So I select from here till here, right click, and I simply say, remove the columns. Now, the last step that's left is to actually take this data to my Excel workbook. And whatever steps I've performed so far, they've all been recorded over here. I can simply edit or delete any of these steps that I want. So I simply say, close and load over here. And um, I get the data in another worksheet of the same workbook. Now, if I compare this to the result that I actually wanted, so it's 1.168.192, 1.168.192, 0.04.193, 0.04.193. .04 the string over here ought to be in-addr.arpa. So I can copy this and I see it's not the same over here. So I can go back to my workbook queries. I can edit my query. I go to view advanced editor and there I simply replace this portion with um, the one that I actually want. I click on done. I now get my revised data. I simply go close and load and it's all done. So no formula writing at all, no macros in place. It's just a simple uh, right click. It's a simple right click solution with a few steps though. And it's equally easy to edit as well. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you.